excitement for sports fans across the country today. It is the opening day for Major League Baseball. From coast to coast, teams are gearing up to take the field for the first time in 2024. I am not sure anyone is more excited about opening day than our next guest. Meet the amazing Cam. It's amazing Cam here, and I'm the Mets' number one biggest fan. And let's go take a look. I've been a Met fan ever since I was a baby. And my first game I ever went to was on Father's Day a couple years ago. And now it's a tradition. I fell in love with the game so much, I even went to spring training and I got to see play ball. Play ball! It was amazing. So my dream is to be a MLB player and especially a player for the Mets. Let's go Mets! Tell us about the first game that you and your dad went to. Well, my dad is a really big Met fan, but I'm a bigger Met fan than him. <laughs> so, I'll never forget the game because it was on Father's Day. I was seven years old. The opposing team hit a home run and I was the only one cheering. And then my dad explained it was the wrong team. <laughs> you can still be happy for the other team. Yeah. And then when the game ended, I was sad that we had to go because I wanted the game to keep on going because it was so fun. Now we go to two or three games a week. That's so good, so special. So why do you love baseball so much? Why, why baseball? Well, Kelly, Kay. I know you're into football. I am. But these are some things that might get you into baseball. Okay. The crack of the bat and the pop of the glove how fast the players run. You could sing in the crowd in the bottom of the eighth inning, and yeah. everybody knows you love to sing. I do. <laughs> I am that annoying person that does it everywhere. <laughs> like a walking musical. And, mm, city Field Food is the best food in baseball. And there you have it. You won me over. That's just that one. <laughs> just that one. I love, I do love going to a baseball game, getting the hot dog and the drink. That's where I have a soda and I cheat. Um, so I, I hear that you, you interview players, right? Yes. So I interview Francisco Alvarez, Brett Beatty, Mark Vientos, Brandon Nimmo, Jose Reyes, Dang. Doc Gooden. That's so cool. So is there anyone that you want to interview that you haven't been able to interview yet? Yeah, I would really like to interview Pete Alonzo, Francisco Lindor. Keith Hernandez, Nolan Ryan, okay. and Mike Piazza. It's hard to interview him because he's retired now oh. and he lives in Italy. Oh, it's a rough commute, I understand. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, Cameron doesn't know this, but we made uh, some calls, pulled some strings, got an airplane, and he's going to get to interview his next interview right here on stage. Uh, everyone, please welcome. 12-time All-Star and Baseball Hall of Famer, a Met at heart through and through, Mike Piazza! Yeah, he's right here right now. So I'd, I'd like uh, to introduce you to Mike. And Mike, this is Cameron. What's up, Cameron? Hello. How you doing, bud? Good. Cameron just got nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't prepare you because this was a surprise. But do you maybe have a question that you'd like to ask him? How did it feel like to hit the home run after 9-11? Oh. oh, wow. Well, the fact that you're asking that question shows um, how important it is to continue to educate the next generations about um, what a difficult, tragic week that was, obviously, mm -hmm. for everyone in the city. But, you know, with great despair and tragedy also comes heroic, you know, heroic virtue and triumph. And I think the most important thing is to remember the bravery of the first responders, police, and firefighters of that week as well. So the fact that you're asking that question is, uh, is, is a sign of light. We miss them in our hearts, but we also celebrate who they were, but also the fact that uh, I'm sure they would want us to, to live on with bravery and respect. Yeah. Yeah. Great question. Yeah. That's so, pretty deep, man. I know. I'm getting a little 
We're emotionally. Right for it. Yeah. Diane Sawyer over here. Um, I, I, <laughs> so, so, Mike, you have something you want to say to Cameron, right? Yeah, so Cameron, on behalf of the Mets, the Mets are giving you four VIP tickets for opening day weekend. All right. You're supposed to say there's more. There's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> you will attend the official opening day press conference with the team, and you will be on the field before the game to meet some of the players, hopefully oh, your favorite. Yeah. Right? So, you're going to get it? Yeah. Uh, so. And I'm that's so because right of now. your dedication and your loyalty to the Mets. So God bless. Enjoy and have a great time. It's going to be a good right. season. But we have something special for everyone here, actually. The entire audience is getting a pair of tickets to a major league game of their choice this season.